We need to have this confidence. We need to have this confidence, but in having this confidence, it doesn't keep us from the difficulties, right? Uh, we've all had difficulties. If any of you haven't had a difficulty in your life, uh, raise your hand and we will give you uh, one. So, <laughs> But we know the trials. We know the journey. And it's not always easy and it's not always perfect. We all have blemishes. But we remind them through Easter and we have confidence in the Easter story that those blemishes that those mistakes, that the junk, that can turn into beauty. We can want once again, even though we may not have had joy in our life, we can once again have joy. We need to have that confidence that we can be resurrected from an old life to a new life. We need to have that confidence that we can be resurrected from this life to life eternal through the power of Jesus Christ. I think Paul and Peter are interesting people to look at after, uh, after going through this whole Easter story and, and seeing where they ended up. And we see Paul here, uh, a couple things that they say and state in their Scriptures. Uh, Peter states this, he says, Though you have not seen Him, you love Him. And even though you do not see Him now, you believe in Him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the goal of your faith. The salvation of your souls. This is Peter trying to tell others of Jesus Christ. This is Peter who, if we remember back at Holy Week, denied Christ three times. And now he is speaking with a boldness. And now he is speaking with confidence that Christ is alive. That Christ is living today. And then we hear, and then we hear Paul's account. But whatever I used to count as my greatest accomplishment, I've written them off as a loss because of Christ. And more so, I now realize that all I gained and thought was important was nothing but yesterday's garbage compared to knowing my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because of Him, I have thrown everything aside. It's nothing but a pile of waste so that I may gain Him and make room for what He has planned for me. When it counts, I want to be found belonging to Him not clinging to my own righteousness based on law, but actively relying on the faithfulness of our Savior. This is true righteousness, supplied by God, acquired by faith. I want to know Him inside and out. I want to experience the power of His resurrection. I want to find myself deeper in the path of our Savior, joining in His suffering, shaped by His death, so that I may arrive safely at the resurrection from death. Jesus Christ came so that we might be saved. Let us have a confidence like Peter and Paul. Let us be bold in our faith. Let us not keep it silent. Easter happened. And we've been saying throughout this this whole service that Easter isn't just set on one specific date, but that Easter is to be lived out every day of our life. Are we bold enough in our faith? Are we bold enough to live in a way that will have confidence through Christ? Will we know that we are taking part in a new way of living because of Jesus Christ? Will we know that we can jump on and just ride that journey of Christ and that adventure so that everyone we know will somehow know of Jesus Christ? You know, the story that, that Gary told uh, in, his, in his sermon, or in his, in his Gideon's talk, about the, the man Dimitri. The man who would go to the prison and just and pray with people and, and pray with people. And, and then one day, someone asked him to pray with the execution, executionary. Executioner. And he recognizes the face. And it's the face of the man who killed his grandfather. And he had an option. He had an option to say no, or he had an option to say yes. And I believe it's that confidence through Christ, that confidence knowing that I need to take every opportunity to let people know of who Jesus is and His redemption and His hope. Do our lives 
represent a confidence of Christ? Are we unashamed? Are we bold in our faith? Are we bold in what we believe? Let this confidence, this confidence of Easter, this confidence of the empty tomb and worshiping a risen Savior, let it be the way you live your entire life. Would you pray with me? Dear Father, we thank You. We thank You for letting that tomb be empty. And Lord, we pray that we live out a confidence for You. In Your name we pray. Amen.